Our Jama, when you see them online or wherever you see them doing their things, our Jama, they are very much into politics. Yapili, our of the future of Turkana. One and only Thomas Kiyonga, the former Tukusa, the immediate, the immediate former Turkana University Students Association Le President. And then, Ule Mwenyeali Chukuo Sukani Kwake, one and only Wakili Losuru Nakel Daniel. Unajua most of the people don't know the N1. Wana unangalabda yo N ya chocha. One and only Losuru. Hapa everything we're going to discuss today, it is our own opinion. So don't crucify us. Don't crucify our sponsors or anything. This is our own opinion. Our own analysis. Yeah, what is going, Ama, what is happening in Turkana. Today we're going to talk to you, the viewers, when you watch. Tunataka to educate. Where is Turkana heading 2022? That is what you're talking today. Are we heading somewhere or are we stuck? But in the meantime, without further ado, me, I want you guys to share this video. Tell your neighbors, tell your landlord, tell your crush, tell your baby mama, tell your wife, tell everybody. Look, Nasuru and one and only Thomas Kiyonga and the hill are live on Chocham Tani. And for those who haven't liked our page, Tafadali Tunawaomba. Tunawaomba sana. Like our Facebook page, Tafadali. Without further ado, so you need answer and I need answer immediate on the answer. One one and only Thomas, Karibu Sam. Asante Sam. Karibu. Thank you so much. How is you? Ah, I'm in Kosawa, Kabisa. Yeah. I'm in Karibu. Home ni wapi? Home ni Kakuma. Uh huh. And in Tukana. Tukana West. Tukana West. To be specific. To be specific, not in one village. Eh. Yes. <laughs> the other time when I was with you, you were telling me that place is very clean. It's a very integrated environment. Eh. A very integrated one. But then I'm told that some people are were telling me today. Uh, I need to come with a dictionary. And you guys are going to give me a hard time here. Naskia Kingereza, Kingereza me. Kingereza me na shule boy. We will be on you. So, tell me a little bit about you. Thomas Kiyonga, you're a graduate. Yeah, thank you so much, Dahil. Yes. Uh, allow me to appreciate you. Thank you. And uh, of course, Marble Entertainment. Santa. For the opportunity that you've granted to us, uh, Dan and me, yes. because you understand that uh, we've been on the limelight for quite for quite some time, so. uh, in one or another, so. of course doing the right thing to our society, so. having led uh, the most professional outfit in the county, yes. dubbed Tukusa. Kabisa. So uh, having been in the leadership of Tukusa, We've been in a position to influence a number of policies in the county that favor young people. Yes. And perhaps it may be the reason as to why we are seated with you here today. Very true. To speak on behalf of young people. Very true. I am a graduate from Asindia Mlilo University. Yes. With a degree holder in natural resources management. Uh -huh. Of course, that is one thing that people don't know about me. Wow. I graduated with a degree in natural resources management. Wow. Congrats. And of course, uh, I'm working. Wow. Yes. Wow. Lately, because we're in a political season, yes. it's very important to make our viewers understand. Yes. I work with John Munez Kiyong as the coordinator, the county coordinator for young people. Wow, right honorable CS. Right honorable CS. I Santa. sit in the secretariat as the coordinator of young people. Wow. Yes. That's good. So, one and only, Wakili, Juzi umetu sungu haba na masuti suti, umetuwekea gaun, congratulations. Uh, tell us about you, Mazi. Home you happy? Now, uh, uh, I was born in Lodwa. Uh -huh. We live in Lodwa. Uh -huh. uh, where we live, I grew up knowing that place as uh, Natotol. 
uh -huh. or Naoi, uh -huh. but recently it was given another name, Akwanga. Akwanga. Yeah, so that is the place where we held my Thanksgiving ceremony. Lovely. Yes, that is our home, that is where we live. Uh -huh. Yes. So, we graduate, uh, Jews become a lawyer. Yes. When are we seeing you at the bar? I'm a bad girl. Now, um, before I come to that, uh, yes. let me say something about myself, as you said. Yes. Maybe before I say that, uh, let me thank uh, the management of uh, Marble Club and Extreme VIP Center for giving us this nice and super fa facility Center. for us to inspire and share our stories to young people. Center. This is to also tell you, um, as the host of Chocham Tan, yes. that uh, this is a super initiative Center. and uh, this is an initiative which has given real hope to young people and other people Thank you. because of the personal experiences that have always been shared that, that have always been shared in this show Sancho. you're doing a super job and may you continue doing that job uh -huh. so um as you say um dan losuru is a young man yes who is a visionary uh -huh. he's a young man who is a dreamer uh -huh. he's a young man who is ambitious yes it is also for you. It is also important for you to know that I'm a disciplined young man. Yes. And uh, just like anybody else. Yes. I have had my fair share of ups and downs. Yes. And uh, most importantly. Yes. Uh, Dan Losuru is a public property. Wow. And everything I do, I do for the, the for, for for the general good. Yes. Of the public. Yes. Uh, finally, yes. uh, Dan Losuru is a household name professionally as a lawyer, uh -huh. uh, an advocate of the High Court of Kenya to be, wow. and uh, a leader, and most importantly, a young transformative leader. Wow. That is Dan Losuru. Asante. And being a Sunday, uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah 1, eh. verse 18. <laughs> The Bible says, yes, come, let us reason together. Wow. As we come here today to reason together with other people, yes, it is my hope that we inspire and give hope to young people outside there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Buddha. You asked, uh, sorry, you asked when I was going to be, when, I when are you going to be at the bar? At, uh, when I'm going to be admitted. Yes. That is a good question. Um... Um, I have already made an application okay. to the Kenya School of Law, uh -huh. and uh, lucky enough, I have already gotten an admission letter. Wow! Congrats! I will be joining very soon. Congrats! Congrats! Thank you. So, Mr. Jamal, and I say my public property. Absolutely, absolutely. Public property, as in, Mresha kitaka anything na wewe lazima kuchote ni. Yeah. 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 There's some people out there who are watching us. Eh? Yeah. What you think at that level, uh, whatever you're trying to explain. Yes. So in a layman's language. Okay, by a public property, yes. I mean uh, that uh, in everything I do yes. as a person, yes. as done, yes. I do it for the benefit of the general public. public. Asante Sana, thanks for that clarification. So, Kidogo Apa. I am going to direct to the questions. Eh? Thomas Kiyomo. I saw you choose to a press. Yes. There was a press conference you were... When I was seeing that press, you were a little bit bitter. Very astute one. Now, you were like... You were like... You were like some people were like... Yes. In the press conference, was it all about what we saw? Online, because Babu, I was told, Ko Azimio, you represent the Azimio Jubilee. Yes. Ko Azimio, ODM, Waliyamoku Jibanga. Okay. They went, they met their party leader. Okay. They decided, uh, candidate A or candidate B, Watashikana wa Tengeneze Serikali. Okay. Then, there was a, there was a circulated video, and it was a, it was a, one of these ODM 
top chef Junet Mohamed yes to be specific and yes. kwana sema that your candidate is not supposed to lead us and we've been in prison for 10 for 10 years with our current governor then i saw you went online some of the bloggers some of the media team ya odm yes wakamwa unabiweka mic vizuri atakusikia and wakazusha okay they were like na 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 it is time for munyes to give us peace spirit okay is azimio crumbling in fukana well dahil maybe to start first and foremost yes to acknowledge that i led visionary young people yes in giving a press yes condemning the utterances of one junet mohammed yes who said the exact word that you've said here today yes and i i want you to remember one thing that the man we are talking about here today yes the man in munyes john kiyomo yes is not just a mere person so this is one man who was inaugurated during the super sato event yes the community elders of this community came together yes across the political divide they they coronated this young one yes to be the spokesperson of our community to be the spokesperson of Turkana community yes and as a young man as a young leader yes. who is very passionate about transformative leadership yes when i saw the unfortunate utterances of uh, junaid mohammed yes i was disgusted not that i was bitter yes i was disgusted because of the kind of ignorance he had portrayed the same meeting happened at ogingo odinga foundation yes it was not intended to be a public meeting it was an indoor meeting uh -huh. but unfortunately or fortunately we had a few young people who had expected to share the content of the meeting to the crowd yes and that is how we go to understand the pronouncements of junaid mohammed yes i was not bitter the team that i was leading was not bitter yes. but we were trying to enlighten kenyans yes. that it is true that we've been in prison for the last 10 years it is true i acknowledge that here today we've been in prison you are told that we've been in prison we've been in prison why is let that because let me explain uh -huh. let me explain uh -huh. Nahil. let yes. me explain yes. i'm coming to your point yes we've been in prison we've been imprisoned by odm government the leadership that has been in place has been an odm government and so when a top notch a top brain of odm comes in public to say that Turkana has been in prison for the last 10 years It's like they're shooting the whole head. Of course, who am I to, to say it's false? I acknowledge that what Junet said it's true and it's truth of the matter that we've been in prison for the last 10 years. But you also extend it that. is ODM that has been in, it, that I in prison us uh -huh. and perhaps it is the reason as to why we are going the jubilee as me away. And why 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 come on yeah, yeah. if he personally say that Nanok government in prison yet Nanok is was a part of ODM. Why is he bringing again that Monyes is going to prison us for another five years or ten years? Why are they, why, why, if you guys are working together, yes. why shoot yourselves? Why having a friendly fire? Yet here, you're condemning him, but your party leaders are talking to each other. Yes. Does it mean that Uhuru doesn't favor whatever comes out of ODM? Now, Dahil, what I want you to understand is that as much as we may think that Junet is always used as an attack dog. Yes. I want to tell you that Junet is known to be one reckless leader. Uh -huh. I'm sorry to say so. It is not the first instance he has said that. He said it before in a crowd in a meeting that was being graced by Kikuyu elders wow. and he said that it's our time to be in the government. That was unfortunate utterances. It forced the leader to go back and apologize. Wow. It, is, it is not the first time he's saying this. He said it before. So whatever Junet said does not reflect the position of Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. It does not reflect the position of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, nor does it reflect the position of Azimio. Azimio is built on the roots of uniting political parties that have common agenda for the common Kenya. All political parties in the country, yes. except 
the political parties that have already uh, they have already decided to take uh, their own space and dub themselves Kenya Kwanza. Yes. Julia, my teacher, tradition in my gives us some echo. Did you have a copy? Yes, reduce, reduce all. Gives us some echo. Apple. Sir! Yes. Masuru? Yes. I also saw you protesting, Maze. Oh, yes. There is a time you are very, very categorically telling people that you are pro UDA and that you will follow what UDA will tell you. You even said, you even said, uh, uh, a time at your graduation ceremony, yes. you said you are pro Ruto, and whatever UDA will tell you, you will follow. Then, some couple of weeks ago, we saw you also having a press condemning uh, your own party, telling people that the stand that you guys are taking, that one of your preferable favored candidate was not chose uh, to lead the UDF flag. You and some of your friends went online. You also called for press condemning them. Were you double speaking yourself? Or what? Because if your party decided this is the way to go, why protest against it? Uh, thank you. And uh... I want you to understand this and uh, understand it very well. Yes. That uh, I was not protesting. Uh -huh. uh, Dan Rosori is a voice of reason. I was only trying to bring reason. Uh -huh. um, this was the case. A section of our leaders yes. met in Manzoni, Machakos County. Yes to purportedly handpick a candidate uh -huh. for UDA in the August polls. Uh -huh. And uh, according to the philosophy and the ideology of the party, yes. together with what the party leader of UDA has always advocated for, uh -huh. I saw it like... Uh, uh, an, 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 an attempt to undermine the party uh -huh. and what the party stands for. And this was our, our argument. Yes. That uh, why don't we go for a nomination exercise uh -huh. as the party advocates for? Uh -huh. Why do a section of leaders go sit somewhere yes. and handpick candidates for various positions? And by the way, Dai, this is a very serious, this is a very dangerous president. Uh -huh. Because today, it is them, or it is our leaders who are having those political ambitions. Yes. In 2022, 2027, in 2027 onwards, who knows, Dahil, you may have those the political ambitions. Yes. And myself, I may have them, and uh, the young men seated over here. So will we expect people at that time to go to a hotel somewhere in Nairobi? sit and come and tell us we have now decided that this is the person who is going to be a candidate. We, are you going to agree with that? I don't agree on a personal level. Yes. But the same, same leaders we are talking about. Yes. The ones who went to Manzon. Yes. Including the person you favored. Yes. To become the flag bearer. Yes. As I was told, they had an agreement. Everybody was given uh, his weaknesses, uh, how he lead, how he will not lead. And I was told from a reliable source yes. that uh, they agreed, they agreed, all the political heads of UDA agreed that one honorable Odebe will become the flag bearer for UDA, right honorable speaker, will deputize him. They had an agreement, they even shook hands. Then I was told 
when they were leaving Manzoni, that is when your candidate changed his mind. He was like, no, 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 no. I don't believe in this. And I was told that the pressure came from his team. That why do you accept to deputize? Yet, we would have gone the nomination way and would have won. So the same same leaders that are leading your party are the ones who went and sat down, discussed, and agreed. That is the way. Why should we go against that if we believe in that leadership? Okay, I get you. But uh, it is important for you to also know that whatever you are talking may not be the truth. Okay. Because you are not there. Yes. I have also had that version of the story uh -huh. that uh, uh, the leaders met and they decided that it was going to be the Honorable Lord Epen. Yes. I have no problem with that. Yes. But as a, a citizen and a law abiding individual, yes. the only fit way for us was through a nomination exercise because a decision that affects about a million people living in Turkana cannot be made by 10 people. Okay. It, 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 was, it, was my, it was my thinking yes. that uh, through a nomination exercise, uh -huh. we will at least have gotten a, a, more, a more precise and a more favorable way uh -huh. of arriving at a candidate. Lovely. May I want you to hold on there? I don't want to keep Kiyonga a lot here. Kiyonga. Bye. Jubilee. Azimio. Azimio. Now, there's an issue going on. Okay. About the super sato you talked about. Yes. People are saying the team that is pushing right on the bosses. Yes. Are regents. Are people who fail. Okay. People are saying the strategy right on the Munez is using yes. is the same same strategy he used in 2017. So I don't know because you and the secretary will explain to us more. Two, do you think that you guys, since there is Azimio, ODM, Azimio Jubilee, all the aspirants in Azimio wants to have the gubernatorial seat? Yet, the same, same problem that happened with uh, the UDA, it's kind of affecting your party again. It's, it's kind of affecting your coalition. Do you think the super sato thing? That you guys did had a mark in your candidate politics. Thank you, Dahil. Uh, talking about the super sector. Yes. First and foremost, I want to own the mistakes that may have happened during that very day. Lovely. We understand that in every arrangement, uh, we happen to meet a number of things that we've not planned for. Yes. A lot of uncertainties, a lot of, a lot of unfortunity, uncertainties comes within. Yes. And uh, it ends up uh, painting a different image uh -huh. that you had not intended to. Uh -huh. We had planned for this event, we had strategized, we had mobilized. And you can tell by the number of the attendance of that event were very eager to see the CS coming back home. Yes. They were very eager to hear from him. Yes. Because this is a leader that Rukana honors so much, having played a critical role in as far as development of this county is concerned. Mm -hmm. Remember, Dahil, there are only three leaders in Trukana County who have been conferred with the second highest honors. Elders of Golden Heart, EGH. One. CS Munoz, 2006. Two. Equia Thuro. Three. Governor Nano. There are only three. Uh -huh. These are figures, public figures, that command much respect in this county. Uh -huh. People came. Of course, we had budgeted. Yes. But a number of things happened. And we own the mistake as the secretariat. Uh -huh. And we want to assure the people of Turkana that it will not happen again. But they usually say, one speed and pressure. Uh, most of the people came for your... I'm here to answer your question. Yes. I'm coming to your questions. Uh -huh. 
I wanted to own to own the mistakes that happened that day. I love that. Part of the secretary. I love that. It's good. A man, a man owns And it mistakes. is a commitment that I'm giving young people today. It's a yes. commitment that I'm giving the residents of Turkana uh -huh. that you're gonna not going to say this again in the near future. Lovely. To Meiji Panga. So the hill, as uh -huh. you say, uh, Munez, this is a leader who has been trusted by three different governments in key government positions to serve the country. Not just the county, mm -hmm. but to serve the country. Mm -hmm. You can tell the, how enthusiastic, how serious that this guy is. Mm -hmm. You can tell how valuable this guy is to the country. Yes. We will be very like a day school as a county. We will be very like a day school as a people to say that this guy has no impact in the Trukana politics. And the hell I want to assure you here today, Muniz is not being pushed by incompetent people. Muniz is not being pushed by anyone. Muniz mm -hmm. has an ambition to see a better Trukana. That is what is pushing him. It is his ambitions. If you talk about people who are around him, this is you, this is me, and that other person who is in, his, in a position to make policies for young people. I am one person who was trusted by Trukana County University students to lead a very serious body like Tukusa. Mm -hmm. And today, that has earned me a place on the high table of John Munez Kiyonga to participate in decision making for young people. We are proud of that. What I've been seeing <coughs> happening to young people, happening to our students, is the things that I want to correct while seated on that table. We cannot correct this while seated at the fence. We can only do this if we are part of the discussion, if we are on the table, I but have, not I, on the main. I agree with you. Yes. It's good to be on the table. Yes. <clears throat> but the thing is, I've captured you saying, <coughs> sorry, that Munish, yes, the right honorable, yes, was being given a mandate to serve this country under yes. the administration. Yes. The Tukana people yes. expected much from a person of that caliber. Yes. Munez yes. started working for this government in 1997. Yes. Up to now. I love that. You, you cannot tell me that uh, Right Honorable Munez yes. is still thinking of serving Trukana, yes. yet he's been serving us in one or the other. Yes. You have some argument that people are saying out there yes. that uh, Right Honorable Munez is trying to give leadership to the young ones yes. in Africa. Yes. That uh, we accept he's a father yes. of politics in Trukana so far, yes. and that uh, he's trying to pave way yes. for others to lead in Africa. Yes. Others are even arguing that last Sunday we had one of uh, Azimio guys here yes. uh, complaining, saying that uh, he has never seen anything yes. tangible that Munez has done to Turkana for the last 30 or so years. Yes. You as a person who is a young guy, yes. who is sitting on this table, yes. and you are pushing for Munez's agenda, yes. don't you think this is something that most people don't buy it. Dahil, I want to assure you one thing. Yes. That I, Kiyoma Thomas Ekidor, yes. I cannot support where I see darkness. Uh -huh. I cannot support where I see that my efforts will be futile. I will only support where I see there is an opportunity for young people to grow. I will only support where I see there is an opportunity for Trukana County to be transformed. And I can only support yes. where I see there is growth. The man Munez Kiyonga got into parliament back in 97, just as you say, as a member of parliament for the greater Trukana North. Yes. That is Lokita. All the way to Lokichoge. All the way to Lokichoge to Nadaba. Yes. Uh, as an MP for that region, yes. 97 to 2002, uh, you have to understand that CDF, which is a constituency development fund, came 
into an action in 2003. Yeah. All that year, mm -hmm. it was the struggles of legislation that was being uh, that, that, that was being executed at the at the House of Legislation from 2003 or from 1990. Way back then, so back then, we didn't have a streamlined devolved fund mm -hmm. that is being directly controlled or managed by these leaders mm -hmm. to transform the life of people at the grassroots level. From 2003, 2003, when the uh, when the the NAC government yeah. came into place. <clears throat> it was a dream of President Kibaki to yeah. see that resources have been devolved to the constituencies level, mm -hmm. to serve people at the lowest unit. Mm -hmm. That is where devolution began. Mm -hmm. And with that, back then, you can imagine uh, the, the area of jurisdiction that Honorable Munez was leading, yes. the Greater North. Mm -hmm. You can imagine that all the way from Tukana North the current Trukana West and the amount of money that was being injected into the CDF kitty. It's not what we are seeing today. Today we are seeing Trukana North, we are seeing Trukana West with huge amount of allocation from the CDF. And at that time, Back then, at that time yes. the highest allocation yes. of CDF yes. was Trukana North. Very true. It was how much? The highest allocation it was how much? It's around 130 million, sometimes goes up to 150. Perfect. If you compare if you compare that allocation, yes. uh, for instance, with Central, yes. you find Trukana Central had a little bit of, uh, of that allocation, but the former MP at that time, yes. uh, right honorable Ethuro, yes. did something. Dahil, that's why I'm heading to. Okay. I want to, un to make you understand how the 130 million or yes. 150 million yes. was able to change the lives of people of the Greater North. Lovely. I come from that place, yes. and I can tell you uh -huh. that when we just got into power, uh -huh. we were able to see, we had a lot of challenges in as far as education is concerned. Our literacy level was below par. Uh -huh. You could not compare the Greater North with these other constituencies. True. But when this man got into power, we were able to see schools sprouting, uh -huh. because that was the first point. Having structured schools uh -huh. and having forums where people are being sensitized to attend these classes, to go to schools, so that they can change the lives of our people. Lovely. So much high school came into place. Mm -hmm. That is where it took an hour. So much came each year. That time, 2003, it was only one structure. Uh -huh. When Munez came, uh -huh. he had to transform this so much. Uh -huh. He built four schools, four classrooms, 2004, with a dining hall. Lovely. That was 2004. Uh, there's this school uh, called Lockdown, uh, Lockdown Secondary. Yes. It was existing, but it was facing a challenge in terms of transportation and all that. You know, uh, there was a number of students attending this school who were very few because you understand Trukana North is a very big region. And, and uh, we wanted uh, the, the school what attracted a number of students across the constituency. Yes. But now there was a challenge in mode of transport to schools. When Munez came into power, he was able to purchase a school bus. I was told so, that school bus was purchased by right on, I mean, Honorable Napoleon. And now I'm telling you who purchased. I'm here for a fact. Do you have, do you have proof that it is in Honorable Napoleon who purchased Just it? check the CDF, go, go, to, go to the web, CDF right. website. Check the website. See what was what was what Munez did the year two thousand and three okay. to two thousand and six. Mm -hmm. See, it's in the record. It's in the record. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, talking about Munez, yes. this is a man uh, who was able to introduce a number of dispensaries to different locations in Trukana mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. This is a man who was able to influence peace among our porous borders. Mm -hmm. Among Trukana North, currently Trukana West. This is a man who was able to influence the setting of uh, Nadapal police border post. Yes. So has to increase peaceful coexistence, to promote peaceful coexistence yes. among our communities with these, with these other communities. So you are telling us that... Uh... Now tell me, ask the him. As for me, yes. me I'm from Trukana West. Yes. And uh, I can lie to you. Yes. I voted Munez four times. 
Yes. I voted for him. Yes, my first vote was in 2002. Vote for him again. I voted for him in 2007. Yes. Voted for him in 2013. Yes. I even voted for him in 2017. Yes. On a personal level, yes. That is something that uh, I'm trying to reserve for now. Yes. Because Ababu, I don't want it to look biased. No, you. I don't speak. want you to look biased. Speak I am here. I'm here. We are speaking to Tukana. I'm interviewing you. To speak you I don't want you to interview me. I'm interviewing you too. <laughs> that is that is my own reservation. Okay. Well. But I agree with you. Yes. I agree with you. Uh, these three people. Yes. Most of the people who are now coming up. Yes. Are saying the leadership of Tukana yes. should not rotate between the three. Yes. That is right on our yes. Yes. Right on our speaker. Yes. And our excellency the governor. Yes. Most people are saying our leadership yes. should not rotate between the three. Yes. That is a question I'll come and ask you later. But I don't want to keep him I don't want to keep him waiting. Well. Um Wakili. Yes. You being in the UDA, I don't know if you're still there or you moved. Because I haven't seen you posting after your press, I've not seen you talking about anything. Until recently, I saw right under the speaker uh, with the likes of right under the CS, the likes of Lomurkai, uh, right under the MP, and Honorable Lomenen. I don't know, some people are saying they were having a cup of tea, but from the look of things, it is like uh, UDA is cracking up. I don't know. Is it that people in the UDA didn't want Lord Ebe to lead? Is it that the candidate that you are supporting moved out of UDA or is still in UDA? Is it, is it UDA, UDA is not even showing things? We are not seeing any campaigns, apart from uh, before His Excellency, the governor flew to US. Yes. They had uh, a campaign in, the part, in the, some parts of South and the East. Mm. In this same, same UDA, right an honorable speaker was questioned being a project of Nanok. Yes. Nanok has gone to US. Yes. Your party is not moving. Mm -hmm. Is it a must that if Nanok comes, that is when you guys breathe. Mm -hmm. oh, well, what is the problem? Because we're not seeing anything in the UK, apart from some missiles in your WhatsApp groups, people are killing each other there. Mm -hmm. What is happening? I see Right Honorable Speaker with Right Honorable Munez. Are we expecting him to deputize Right Honorable Munez, yet he was told here to deputize Lodepe? Why, why deputize Munez and not deputize Lodepe? Now, um, uh, as you've said, yes, I have been an ardent supporter of the United Democratic Alliance. Yes, and uh, in as far as Turkana County is concerned, I have been supporting the Right Honorable Speaker Ekitela Lokale. Yes, on his intention to become the governor of this county. Um, I believe, or I believe. In the right honorable because of his clarity of mind uh -huh. technical know-how uh -huh. and the track record is set in public service both at his time in the united nations uh -huh. and subsequently as the speaker of our county assembly yes and most importantly uh, he also requested that I support him, and he shared his vision to me, which I agreed with. He is a smart chap and knows what is expected of him as a leader. Uh -huh. But uh, things happened. What are those things? We want to know. I am coming there. Uh -huh. Things happened, and you, as you know, yes. Uh, the Honorable Lodepe, the MP of Turkana Central, yes, was given the mantle uh -huh. to be the. UK. Do you support that? I'm not. I don't want to support. Sorry. 
You use about that mantle. Uh, you see, the way I've told you, yes. uh, the speaker was your preferred candidate. Was my preferred candidate. And yes. the speaker looked for me uh -huh. and we sat for four hours in a place called Olesereni in Nairobi. Wow. He shared his vision to me yes. and he asked me to support him. And even as far as told, told me in details on how he wanted us to work together. Uh -huh. You get? Uh -huh. And uh, this is in public domain that uh, any assignment yes. the speaker or his handlers have always given me as Dan Losuru. Yes. I have done it with distinction. Coming to your question, um, I don't give blank support. Uh, you get? Lovely. I don't just come and say, oh, let us support this person. Number one, I have no problem with Honorable Odepe. Mm -hmm. that, is, uh, that should go on record, that I have no issues with him. If he comes here, tell you what fact, to... In fact, the Honorable Odepe is my friend, and he even came for my, yes. for my Thanksgiving ceremony. Yes. I have schooled with his children. Yes. I have no personal issues with him, but he has never shared his vision to me. Oh. <laughs> he has so, never requested me as a person. Is, if he, if he goes for your audience, will you go? Sorry? If he calls up on your audience. Now, it depends. Yeah. If he looks for me yeah. and tells me that yeah. this is my vision yeah. and uh, this is how I want you to help me, uh -huh. I will wait and look. If I will agree with him, well and good, we will work together. Lovely. Mm. So, about the picture. Yes. Now that you are an ardent supporter of Right Honorable Speaker. Yes. Uh, Makali. Yes. Tell us, if he is moving to Azimio, are you moving to Azimio or what? Uh, I'm, a Kosabu. I'm, I'm, I'm marking what, you guy, what, you, what you've been telling people. Yes. That you will die with the right, uh, with the DP. Mm -hmm. You will go where DP goes. Mm -hmm. Whatever DP says, you are in his party. Yes. But at the same time here, you go with right honorable speaker, yes. etc. Mm -hmm. If speaker goes and deputize, for instance, mm -hmm. deputize honorable Munez. Yes. Are you flowing in that amount of Akiko party? Okay. As I have said yes. before, uh, I support the DP uh -huh. and uh, I support UDA. But in this case, yes. the DP who happens to be my political mentor yes. or a person who inspires me yes. is running for presidency and not governor. <laughs> uh -huh. So, uh -huh. uh, if the right honorable yes. has decided yes. to work with Moniz, yes, it is also very important for you to understand uh -huh. that I don't hold brief for the speaker uh -huh. nor do I speak for him. Okay. He has his own capacity to go and look for his political friends True. and work with them True. as a person. But as for me, mm. I supported the speaker, as I said before. And after, uh, after the after, after speaker moved, yes. allegedly, yes. after speaker allegedly moved, mm. none of the candidates who are vying for governor yes. has called me uh -huh. or requested me to support them. None. None. So that means who oh, Kotu? Yes. Not sincerely yeah. Kotu. For now, yes. I don't have any candidate for governor. Shikiria. Yes. Kiyoma. Azimio. Do you think the Azimio ODM are going to give Right Honorable Munez a room to lead as Azimio flag bearer? Dail, uh, I don't want to speak on behalf of my boss, mm. and I don't want to speculate. You are the secretary, but at least you need to give our audience and your supporters, because people are confused. Dahil, can you give me chance to speak? People are confused. Can you give me chance to speak? Uh -huh. Great. I don't want to speak for my boss. Yes. Uh, but in my position as Kiyong, yes, as a young leader, yes, having sat down with Honorable Munez, yes. Having gone through 
the agenda he has for the greater people of Trukan. Yes. Having convinced me that he's the right person. Yes. I am pretty sure that wherever Azmiu is seated, wherever balance, wherever the two principles who brought the idea of Azmiu are seated, they are well conversant with what Munye stands for, with the fragile ecosystem of Turkana and the kind of maturity it wants. That is what your party leaders want. Right? I am pretty sure that, that is what my position, what I think about Munez, yes. is what the two principals think about his candidate. That is what they think. But, but, but I saw a post, you arguing with the media team yes. of Azimi ODM. Yes. They were saying they are coming with a ticket yes. for gubernatorial seat. Yes. And they are so sure yes. that their party, yes. the ODM party, yes. has given their candidate the ticket to come and yes. campaign for gubernatorial as an ODM flag bearer. Yes. As Emil, as I'm told is, as you've said earlier, that there are so many parties in Yenata Genesa as Emil. So these parties were the same one. Yes. ODM is Mamisha, yes. candidate work. Yes. Uh, Jubilee is Mamisha, candidate work. Yes. Do you think Mutawin, because once you guys have that crack, automatically the UDA people will pass? What a bit. Daily, I want to tell you one thing that uh, we don't compromise, we don't want to compromise the position of Azimio yes. as far as the contest of Turkana gubernatorial race is concerned. Uh -huh. We don't want to compromise that. Why should we? We don't want to compromise. Uh, the dreams of Raila Amolo Odinga. So that is the 2022 ambition. I started, I'm coming that to is, you. That is, that I'm coming is to Raila you. Wait, Dahil, I'm coming I to want you. us to talk. I'm coming to you. Whatever Raila believes in yes. is what uh, is the roots that Azmi is built in. Uh -huh. And I want to tell you, Dahil, that if we go to the statistics, yes. the statistics, yes. they don't lie, right? True. Statistics don't lie. Numbers don't if lie. we go to the statistics, yes. And the greater pillars of these constituencies that make up Turkana, uh, Turkana County. Yes. You will understand my position as Kiyom. And today, Dahil, I'm telling you, uh, just to correct you, mm -hmm. I didn't argue with uh, the, so, the, the, the so and so bloggers. Mm -hmm. I have my handlers who handled my Facebook account. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it was a battle and a contest of that. Mm -hmm. And of course, my team was trying to give them a direction that. It is in the good interest of Azimio that we work as a team. But I want to commend again the, the, the team of bloggers from the other end. Because as a young man, you have to be positive so as to, so as to live long. You have to be positive. Mm -hmm. You have to create all these <laughs> fake certificates and share. You have to create every kind of propaganda and say that Kiyong has been yeah. removed in this page. Kiyong yeah. is this and that. Dan is that. Yeah. You have to do that for you to live long. So I want to commend their effort. It's good to be positive in life. Mm -hmm. But again, back to reality, Dahil. The man in Muniz, Muniz gives, portrays a fatherly figure to this county. Whatever fallacy that people are trying to create, that we want young people to not tunataka tu bora kwa kijana, bora kwa kijana. Dahil, it's not about bora kwa kijana. Lakini yes. kijana bora. Are you getting the point? True. Kijana bo? Kijana, kijana bora. bora. And all these contestants, Mimi is the owner Kijana, I'm the owner Kijana. Mimi, I only have five years. Ni toke kwa Ujana. Ni toke kwa you. Yes. Sasa hao, 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 nando Kijana, kwa hao, sikuwa na mwona, sikuwa na mwona, sikuwa na mwona. So, all the same, it's about, it's about ideologies. One of them, one of them, one of them, this leadership has been here for long. That is, that is their argument. But, ask yourself, why has it been here for long? Sure. Why does it last long? It's because of the greater things that that person is doing to the community. Mm -hmm. It's because of the greater role that that person is playing to the development of Trukana County. And Dahil, I want to tell you this today. Trukana sits in a very fragile ecosystem. A very fragile political ecosystem, for that matter. Trukana is a county that needs a very mature, very ambitious, very visionary, well composed, and a very serious government. It's not, it's not, you know, they say, Dahil, I don't want you to get Dahil, out of my point. I don't huh? get out of your point, but I want yes. to give you, to tell you one thing. That yes. 
those people contesting with Mujes yes. may have danced in a swimming pool before. Uh -huh. They may have danced in the mud before. Yes. But today I want to tell you, hot water, dial of hot water, yes. is not a playground for fraud. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's not. It will come true. What you're telling me is, any other person who is in the Azimio, yes. whether Azimio Chubili or Azimio Chubili, yes. should know that it is right honorable C.S. Munez who is going to lead them. That's not what I'm telling them. Those are not my words. What I'm telling them is this. Remain positive and remember that but they are, we must deliver. They are thinking of taking the leadership. And they are saying they are going for it. That is on the Azimi ODM. It's good to dream, Dahil. It's good to dream, yeah. It's good to dream. It's good to, dream. It's good to be ambitious. And I love that. I really congratulate them having dreamt of leading this county. If but you see as it. the residents of this county now, we are speaking. Yes. From our, our perspective and from our point, as the greater stakeholders of this county, uh -huh. that this county uh, is, and it, it, this county stays in a very fragile ecosystem, and we cannot risk it. We cannot try the game of trial and errors. We cannot do that. So, for instance, this picture that has been circulated online yes. about uh, right honorable speaker, yes. is, it, is he in your team or is he planning to join your team? I don't want to speak about right honorable speaker. Dan is here. No, no. You can ask him. We are, we, we, we are crisscrossing everything. Yes. We saw him with your party leader. We didn't see him with the yes. party leader. Great. Now, Daniel, uh, the man you're talking about, Erastas. Yes. Because, before, before I let you talk, yeah? Yes. Before right honorable speaker had a photo session with your boss, eh? Yes. It is the same thing as the Mio guys who are saying yes. that right honorable speaker is not mature enough yes. to lead this county. Yes. That he is the project yes. of His Excellency the Governor. Yes. We heard that chair like almost a year, people yes. talking about, especially from the Zimio Brigade. Yes. Now I am seeing praises. That he's a sharp guy. He's smart. He's intelligent. Yes. Why are we crucifying one person when he's on this other end? Yet, there's a saying, there's an Arabic saying that says, yes. Kul and haka waikan al -mura. Yes. You should always speak the truth even if it hurts. Yes. I am wondering why now speaker Anakwa Pampa? Uh, I want to tell you one thing. Yes. That it's a political system. Uh -huh. I know you are used to music industry, but I want to officially <laughs> <laughs> I want to officially welcome you to the political <laughs> arena <laughs> so that you understand uh -huh. during this political system. Yes. Someone can say that here you are a project of Kyong. Are you one? Me, I might be. Are you one I'm of my projects? I am a project of everything. Are you my project? Yes. It depends with how you view that. Then it's a political season. Expect anybody, yes. anywhere, yes. to say anything. I want you to expect that. Yes. It's a political season. Yes. And uh, politics, politics calls for a lot. Yes. Maturity, sobriety, yes. confidence. Yes. Focus yes. and more so our vision, having a vision. Uh -huh. Erastas is a leader like any other. Yes. Very smart leader. Yes. Focused. Yes. With a greater vision for this county. Yes. Who has been tested before. Yes. He has proven to be the, to, to have done the right thing to the Where am I getting those places now? Dahil, I want, I'm coming to something. Uh -huh. And this is a man who has all his senses yes whatever decision he makes yes. it's an independent decision that he has interrogated as himself yes him as Erastus. yes he has interrogated and he has seen yes it's in the best interest uh -huh. of Tukana county uh -huh. it is the best it's in the best interest yes of his ambition uh -huh. it is in the best interest yes of his growth and as a leader yes 
if his position will be joining Jubilee as Mio, yes. joining as Mio, yes. Of course, why not? We will welcome him because he's such a brain. Who will want to stay away from him? We will welcome him. We will have to have him on board. Uh -huh. Of course. Uh -huh. If that is the decision that he's going to make, we are going to embrace him with both hands. Yes. Yes. Sasa, let, let's go online, Kidogo. Eh? Okay. Hey, somebody on the news is a man. Ask Thomas this question. Yes. Munez is very known, is very well known. Yes. To be old school. Yes. And it's in record that he has. Uh, he has an established uh, oligarchs who want to auction devolution funds just like CDF yes. during his era. Yes. The apartheid is certainly gated by the Knox regime. Yes. Junet Amas Uju Janet. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Somebody is saying. Yes. And I don't know, that is him, he will prove that. Oligarchs around him. Yes. Yes. That if Munez is being given the opportunity to lead, yes. to become the governor, yes. he will seem from the money the way he seems from CDF money. I don't know. What? Okay. Dahil. Yes. Speaking from an ignorance point of view, <laughs> it's the most dangerous thing <laughs> to our society. Yes. I've explained a number of projects that this guy has, done. has implemented, uh. and we've never seen. Uh. <laughs> anti corruption vindicating him yes. for anything as such. Because it goes on a public record and public domain that so and so has been charged of this. Yes. He has stolen these funds. These funds are missing for the project X, A, B, C, D. But we've never seen that before. Why are we getting the narrative that he, was, he, he had embezzled something? So, so those, those so, are their own opinions. It's the same way we are talking about. It's some yeah. opinion. Yes. And that's why I'm answering to that. Uh -huh. The second question for if I heard you right. Yes. People surrounding Munez. Munez yes. is a politician, a very smart one. Uh -huh. If you can remember, one of the Kenyan uh, gazettes said, uh -huh. uh -huh. a very smart politician. Uh -huh. You may mistake him for being silent, you may mistake him for being too kind. But he's calculating his moves. He's a very smart politician. To be a Yes. Now, do you agree? With what Kiyoma is saying, that his candidate is the right person to lead this country. Um, Kiyoma has his uh, right of opinion. Uh -huh. um, as if you compare yes. his candidate who is uh, the Honorable Munez, the yes. former CS, yes. and my candidate. Yes. There are two worlds apart. Uh -huh. why, why two worlds apart? Because yes. if Erastu was in the ballot, uh -huh. as it now seems like he, he will not be in the ballot as governor. Can she go independent? No, uh -huh. that will not be a viable option for now, uh -huh. especially looking at the political landscape of the country and the county. Yes. Going as an independent candidate can be disastrous. So, uh -huh. uh, Munes has led to Kana County for the last 20 or 30 years. Uh -huh. uh, as far as I'm concerned as a person, yes. I know or I believe that uh, the Honorable Munes doesn't have any track record. Not me. In as far as public service is concerned. concerned. That's not my words. Kiyoma. I get you. You are getting? I'm going to answer you. Uh -huh. And uh, I had time yes. to sit with uh, some individuals who are working with Talo, Talo Oil. Yes as engineers. Uh -huh. um, what I heard from those people who are working with him, because uh, Tano was working to under the ministry, he, under the ministry of uh, Petroleum. Petroleum and Mining. Yes. What I heard from those young men yes. about the CS uh -huh. was very, very unfortunate. Because uh -huh. Um, some of these young people yes. had hope in him as our CS for petroleum and mining. Yes. 
and they went as far as uh, taking proposals to him uh -huh. and of course um, urging the CS to give them some opportunities and uh, and favors here and there uh -huh. the CS did nothing did absolutely nothing why I don't know maybe Kiyoma will tell us why why the CS never did anything and by the way uh. There are public servants, for example, like, uh, let me use Ambassador Kai when he was in uh, the PS uh -huh. for interior and correctional services. Yes. You saw what Ambassador did. Ambassador employed over a hundred Turkanas from all over the country uh -huh. into prisons and uh, the police department. Yes. But... Uh, the CS, I'm yet to know what our good CS has done during his tenure in government. Shkili hapa. Kiyoma. Dai. You are a former president. Very ready to answer that. He's saying that your candidate has no track record in terms of development. Yes. And that some two colonels are complaining about that. Yes. What's your response to that? Okay. Dai. Yes. It's good uh, when uh, Dan was speaking about the same, uh -huh. he introduced a very, very important component in the discussion. Yes. That is Ambassador Richard Akai. Yes. And uh, Dai, for record. Yes. I want, to go, I want you to go to the public domain. Yes. That Kiyoma said this. Yes. Because it is something that maybe people don't know. Okay. Munez is a believer, is a Christian, who believes that whatever I did with my right hand, my left hand should not know. True. As I seated with you here today, of course, as I subscribe to the principles of Christianity, mm -hmm. as I sit with you here today, Ambassador Richard Ekai yes. is an indicator. of the ability of C.S. Munez Kiyonga mm -hmm. to pick an ordinary Kenyan mm -hmm. and make him an ambassador in the country. Wow. You heard that? Went into record yes. and became a permanent secretary. With one word, mm -hmm. Ambassador Richard, Yes. I'm getting you into this position yes. so that you help me to elevate yes. the problems of our people Yes. Through jobs creation. Yes. Through opportunities. Yes. And all that. You understand? I do. Whatever ambassador has done, uh -huh. it's because of the goodwill that he got from the seas. Two months ago, yes. Ambassador met fourteen young people uh -huh. in Nairobi, uh -huh. in our hotel, uh, based in Apahi. Yes. He was telling them of their journey. Mm -hmm. And he was even telling them to form a group so that whenever there is a job opportunity within Nairobi, he yes. can be in a position to influence. He took the same podium to tell those young people that wherever I am here today, it's yes. because of Munez. And I want you to go to the record that tomorrow you'll be in a position to sit somewhere and say wherever you are, it's because of Munez. Munez has a series of mining and petroleum. Yes. Petroleum and mining. Yes. Sorry. He was able to influence employment of many people in this county. And because I tell you, he does it with the right hand, he doesn't want the left hand to know. Yes. That is the reason we say that we don't know what he has done. Allow me to take you through this. Uh -huh. Within a very short time. Yes, then, yes. Honorable Peter Lokoil. Former DG. Former DG. Uh -huh. Munez employed him as an advisor of the local content. Local content. Honorable Protas Akuja. Yes. Munez employed him as an advisor for community engagement and as a board member wow. in the petroleum. Uh -huh. Honorable Nicholas Nikor, yes. he employed him uh -huh. as a board member uh -huh. for Kenya Rural Electrification. Uh -huh. Madam Esther Longori, uh -huh. National Irrigation Board, NIB, uh -huh. it's Munez uh -huh. who did that. Uh -huh. Honorable Emmanuel Imana, uh -huh. Munez influenced his appointment to be a board chairman of KICC. Mm -hmm. 
You understand that? Mm -hmm. Peter Ngala, mm -hmm. a board member of NOC, mm -hmm. National, National Oil Corporation, Oil Corporation. Okay. Mm -hmm. a board member mm -hmm. because of the influence of the man Munez. Mm -hmm. Samal Lomwa, yes. a board member of NOC again. Mm -hmm. Professor Akuja, mm -hmm. director of Turkana University College. Mm -hmm. You think it comes easy? No. You think it comes easy? It's, it doesn't come easy. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on. Mm -hmm. Kelly Lomarile, mm -hmm. Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, mm -hmm. influence of John Munez Kiyoma. No. I, I, Francisca Ahoy, I'm coming to that. Yes. KVDA, Kelly Valley Development no, Authority, no. John Munez Kiyoma. Can I, can I tell you something? I'm coming to you, Dahil. Mm. I'm giving you an opportunity. Yes. Five CEOs. Mm -hmm. Paul Onogo, Tukana North. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel Okai, mm -hmm. Kibish. Mm -hmm. Esther Ayepio, mm -hmm. Tukana South. Linus Namoy, mm -hmm. Tukana Central. Mm -hmm. Sylvester Logalu, mm -hmm. uh, Tukana North. Mm -hmm. Anglo Jore, Loima. Now tell me, how do you define the word a track record? Can I ask you something? Ask. All these people you named them. Yes. Are they not his political advisors and uh, political campaigners? Are they Sudanese? When you award an MP, for instance, yes. former DG, yes. was his DG. Yes. He didn't get the seat of 2017. Yes. So he has to award it. Yes. Uh, the likes of Imana yes. awards them. Yes. Because he was campaigning for right on the CS. Yes. yes. The likes of uh, Lokaru. Yes. Campaign failed. Yes. Being awarded. Is it in record that if I want to become a governor? Yes. And I have my team. Yes. And my team fails. Yes. Am I supposed to award them? That goes to both parties, not now, you alone. Now, I'm asking you a question. Yes. No, you cannot answer a question with a question. Why are you not talking about Protas Akuja? Protas Akuja. Why are you not talking about him? I've just given an example. He is one of the people, he's one of the beneficiaries. Yes, I'm giving an example. Friends, but I'm, he's not working with him now. He's in UDA. He's in UDA. Exactly. He came to UDA one and a half years ago. Three years he's been working with but him. Is but he's in He was working with are, the ministry. Are you forgetting yes, that the Honorable Protas was also appointed as an advisor to the government? We are not there. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. My question cut across. Eh? Not talking about my, question cut, my, my question cut across. Eh? Why is it that if we go for political, like the way we are now, we yes. are a political Season. campaign. Yes. In anime, yes. The people that I'm working with, yes. I'm going to wow. Yes. If I fail, yes. rather than me awarding these other people, yes. why am I awarding the same, same individuals? That's why earlier I told you when we started the conversation. Interesting. Behavior. That's Behavior. when we started the conversation. I told you there are yes. some people out there who are saying yes. that the same same script yes. of 2017 yes. is is what is being read yes. in 2022 for Munez. Yes. Now I don't know if Kiyonga Bakujibo, because the same the way you say Ati Munez doesn't help. Wait, Daily. I, I want to answer your question yes. before we go to my learned friend yes. working it up. Yes. Dahil, mm. uh, this is politics. You understand? And because I told you it's a political season, people yes. will want to incline every kind of discussion into yes. a political angle to favor what they think about. Uh -huh. But I want you to understand this. Yes. That these people, who Munez has influenced to get a position. Yes. These are not Sudanese. <laughs> they are not Ugandans. Uh -huh. They are not Ethiopians. Yes. They are sons and daughters of this land. Yes. Very true. Tenkans. I agree. I agree. And because they subscribe to the political ideologies of Munez. Yes. That is why they are inclining to him. Yes. That is why they have decided to work with him. Yes. Those that thought yes. that, well, we can be friends, we can work together, yes. and we can differ politically. Those ones walked out. Uh -huh. He didn't contain them. Yes. It was not a bad move. Uh -huh. It was in goodwill. Yes. They were together when they were, when they were serving mm. Kenyans and Tukana people. Mm. But when political time came, yes. 
it was time to get now new friends yes. and to move on. Yes. Yes. And of course, talk about even people who have moved from the county government to join Munez. Munez didn't employ them to the county government, but because they believe in the ideologies of Munez, after serving the county government, they are now working with Munez, believing that this is the right person to transform the lives of our people. Do you agree? Uh, be, be, before you do that, there is somebody here on the Yes. Uh, Wakili Daniel Losoro. Yes. Kindly stop talking on hearsay. So, yes. Anasema, say point of view. Munez did his best when he was serious, nothing yes. else. Anasema, if somebody tells you that Aliskia Munez has been a heavy, a heavy, don't believe in hearsay. Mm -hmm. So, before Chikuyo, do you agree with what Kiyome is saying? Uh, I don't have much more information yes. on what my brother has just outlined. Yes. On uh, the jobs uh, Munez, the CS, allegedly gave the people he has mentioned. I don't have information about that. Why use the word allegedly? Because he say he's, it's in record. Because I am not sure. I am not sure. Uh -huh. so, but if it is indeed true yes. that the CS employed those people, yes. those are true canners, Yes. and they deserve yes. those appointments. Alakara. Yes. So, um, Corina here says, do you still have that thought that these engineers or whatever told do you still believe it's true or false? I was told by an engineer friend of mine, yeah. whom all of us here know, yeah. and he works with the, he used to work with Talo. Okay. Yes. Anyway, now back to you. Mm -hmm. UPA. Yes. Is it exist does it still exist in Fukana Malaysia? Uh Dai. I am one man who talks the truth when an opportunity presents itself. Yes. And I am led by the mantra of Mahatma Gandhi's teaching. Yes. That uh, an error does not become truth by reason of multiplied propagation. Nor does truth become error because nobody sees it. Truth stands for itself. Even if there be no public support, it is mm -hmm. self-sustained. True. UDA in Turkana County as it is, UDA in Turkana County as it is, is not headed in the right direction. Wow. In, 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 in especially in as much as capturing the governor's seat is concerned. Why are you saying that? Because you can also see what is happening. Uh, you can see defections. Uh, the first defection had the Honorable Lomenen uh -huh. and the Honorable Senator uh, Ali Lokiru. Uh -huh. I mean, these are people we would not have lost as UDA. What about Senator Mali? Secondly, uh -huh. there came another defection. Uh -huh. The Senator left. Uh -huh. uh, then came the the um, picking of uh, Honorable Lodepera's flag there. Yes. You also saw? The stretch. Yes. You saw what happened, right? Uh, the speaker left. Uh -huh. And, uh, okay, uh, I will not say he left. I don't know, because I don't know if he has indeed left. But when I saw that picture, mm. the one everyone has seen, yes. I knew there was a problem. So there is, there is a problem in our camp. And uh, if diligence is not exercised for us to look for... An alternative. Not really an alternative. Yeah. I'm a solution. For, for if, 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 if we will not look for a solution as early as this, yes. then I'm afraid. The worst is yet to happen. Why, why are you saying this? Is it because the person that has been given the mandate to lead your party, people don't believe in him? Not really. But for instance, for instance, yes. whatever is happening in the UDA, if the right honorable speaker would have become the flag bearer, yes. do you think the same, same thing would have happened? Of course, yes. Now, if that would have happened, yes. Why are, we, why are you still in this party? Kasabu, we know for you to transverse this county, three months or four months is less. Mm -hmm. 
You need six months for you to go, if I'm wrong, you will tell me. You need six months or so for you to do your massive campaign. But I see in both camps, Kazimio camp, I don't know if you're in Japan, your camp is crashing down. We don't know, we don't see anything, we don't see people campaigning, we don't, there's not that mood. It's like Tukana is stuck. In the Azimio camp, I saw a lineup of both uh, the aspirants, the Munez and the other camp. I saw the Munez aspirants, mm -hmm. I saw him saying to Flani na Flani na Flani that represents some county Flani na Flani na Flani. Yes. So, yeye yeah, mechipanga. In the UDA, I don't see even a lineup. The only lineup I see is a contention, pressure, matusi. You find Suji uh, Pande, especially come a central, Jukana central. Yes. There is the likes of Eru and the team, there is the likes of Namwar and the team, there is Joy, uh, Mama Joyce and the team. Uh, and you hear stories here that are. Uh, uh, a few individuals who are contesting for this seat will move out because uh, the party doesn't favor them one or two and one. Yes. And from my own words, you're telling me that the way things are moving with UDA, yes. if there's no solution, mm -hmm. becomes a breakfast party. You as a person, what will you advise? Uh, not really, not really. UDA will not really die as a party. But uh, what may happen yes. in the unlikeliest event that what is going on, yes. if there will be no solution, yes. we can only lose the, the governor's seat. But the rest? But UDA as a party all over the country is still strong uh -huh. and is a party which has very good structures. So um, this is my point. Yes. That after all this happened, uh -huh. after all the... Uh, aspirants who were aggrieved after the decision was made. Yes, it was the prerogative of our party leader mm -hmm. and two generals uh -huh. of UDA party. Yes, in Turkana County, that is the His Excellency the Governor uh -huh. and the, the Honorable Nakulev. Uh -huh. They had, they, they have, or they had a prerogative to look for all those people, uh -huh. like the speaker, uh -huh. and all those who were agreed. Yes, look for them, sit them on a round table, uh -huh. and talk to them, uh -huh. and make them understand that uh, we still, uh, they still want uh, them to be together. Uh -huh. Or we still have to be together for us to capture power. But that hasn't done. That, that hasn't That has to not been done up to now. Yes. And that is why I fear mm -hmm. if a solution is not found, then it is not going, all is not going to be well. Do you agree? Uh, I cannot speak for what and, and by the no, way, no, given an opportunity, and given by, an opportunity, and, and by the way, yes. given an opportunity, yes. that you are going, you, in competition for this seat with Uber. Yes. And by the way, Dahil, yes. you can already see the way personally I'm disoriented. I think you can al already see that I'm disoriented because after speaker whom I supported yes. was not given chance and there was no direction and nobody nobody as far as, as, as until now nobody is talking about it. Nobody is talking about what happened and of course, to give some guidance, nothing, nothing totally has happened. I'm told you guys went for recess. I hope when you come out of the recess, we will, <laughs> we will have this conversation again. You know, UDA, what to do for recess? So, Azimio. You want me to advise UDA? No, I want you to give me a one minute. Azimio, with his own issues. If given an opportunity today, yes. do you think your camp is ready to 
Van Gogh with you, dear. Uh, the hill, uh, maybe many other viewers who are viewing this uh, this show. Yes. I want to tell you this today that we are only waiting to form the government. How sure are Structures you? Structures are in place. How sure are you? Your Numbers general? don't lie. The alignment and the alignments don't lie. And as you can see, how to make it so it's an assurance I'm giving you today. Remind me when this is not going to happen. We are already forming a government. A government for the people, for the people, and by the people. Which Azimio is forming the government? Azimio Jubilee or Azimio Adiyo? Azimio is forming the government. Azimio is going to crack yake? Azimio has parties, but Azimio is one. It's forming the government. The cracks you're talking about, Yes. Dahil, uh, I want to speak about my candidate passionately because this is a man whose candidate is uh, driving hopes to many of us. Yes. Trust me, you. Uh, the candidate of Munez has made many Trukanas to be optimistic in life. Why are you saying that? It's a research. Which research? Carried by who? People are smiling. Carried by who is smiling? Can you not do an independent research? <laughs> <laughs> you can do an independent research? <laughs> no, you say that a research so you want me to up. cite a reference? Yeah. Carried by me? Kindly cite that is you. That is your own opinion. It is a research. It's your opinion. You, so I'm telling you. You remember earlier you said. Earlier you said. No, no, no. no. Earlier you said. I don't want to tell you. Earlier you said. You know what? I'll give you your time. Earlier you said. This. Youth men, when you work on my blog, my media team, yes, are doing everything to please, yes, their own candidates and their bosses. So when you tell me you're doing an independent research, you maybe you're pleasing me, yes. Dahil, don't put your words into my mouth. No, no, you say it earlier. It's in I Michael. am speaking in a layman's language. Oh. I, have today. <laughs> <laughs> I am forgiving you for today. Oh, okay, I am okay. speaking in a layman's language. Yes. That the candidate of this gentleman I'm speaking about, John oh. Munez Kio, yes, has sent a lot of optimism to many young people because of the radical political, mm -hmm. social, mm -hmm. and economic change yes. that his agenda has promised us. Dahil, get me a candidate yes. who is speaking about blue economy in Trukana. We think the potentiality of Lake Trukana not as a recreational lake, not as a swimming pool. But as a blue economy. But as a factor to inject economy in this county. Through tourism, through games and sports, through fishing. Get me a candidate who is speaking about the revival of the fish factory in Kalakon. Get me a candidate who is speaking about the revival of meat abata in Lomidat on your way to Lokichegu. Get me a candidate who is speaking about the leather process and tanning plant on your way to Loima, the one that is a, a white elephant project now. Get me that candidate who is speaking about that. Get me a candidate who is passionately speaking about uh, we are speaking about the opportunities we have in desalination of Lotikipi water aquifer through reverse osmosis to make Turkana green. Get me a candidate who is speaking about that. Get me a candidate Hold who on. is speaking about that. I want him, I want him to he's, respond. He is going to respond. My learned friend is a very gentleman. Yes. gentleman. Dahil, get me a candidate who is speaking about giving young people in Turkana an opportunity to further their studies outside this country through scholarships. The way West Pokot did, mm -hmm. the way Mombasa did, mm -hmm. and many other honorable counties. Get me a candidate who is speaking about that. Get me a candidate who is speaking about empowerment of young people through job creations. Through joint internship with all organizations happened in this country. 
Get me a candidate who is speaking about that. Is Get your me candidate a doing candidate. that? I don't have a candidate. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil, I want to give you reasons as to why I'm supporting Munez. Yes. You but there's one, there's one thing, thing you're missing. You, I cannot support someone blindly. There's something you're missing. What am I missing? Dahil, what when I, I when missing? I look at all the candidates, yes. now this is me now, my own opinion. Speak eh? as a moderator. None of the candidates yes. who are aspiring for leadership, top leadership in Trukana, yes. is talking about creative economy. Yes. None. I've watched you from the beginning of this show. I've always seen you online talking about politics. None of you is talking about creative economy. And when I say creative economy, I'm talking about whatever we are doing here. Yes. This thing that we are doing here. Yes, Daniel. If you go to Facebook pages, yes, ninety percent of the content is from Nigeria. Eighty percent Tanzania. Seventy percent Nairobi. None of the leaders in Trukana are seeing music or creative content, modeling, audiovisual, all these things. Wait, 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 wait. I gave you all the time to talk, but you, you never say that. You, did, you, did you are talking allow about me to say so. No, no. You are talking about these other things. You didn't about... allow me to no, say no, so. No, 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 no. You are talking about these things because you wanted to capture Ian. I am telling you now this. Yes. None of the leaders is talking about creative economy. Mark you, there is a song of your guy. Yes. In a hit in Tansana. Baya you to that ngoma, that ngoma, in a chase one, the person who sang about it is from Uganda. Yes. So, earlier, this, earlier last year, yes. we had a protest. Yes. A ghost law. Yes. Uh, we were not given what we wanted. Yes. The only thing I saw, yes, was the media team and the bloggers from this other political camp yes. fighting, pretending to help us yes. winning this war? Yes. Do you know, and I want it to be in record. Yes. I've said none of the leaders. Yes. So whether I could UDA, I could work, none. Hakuna. Now that Daniel Mejitron has an aspirant, mm. you have an aspirant. Yes. A serious one. A serious one. Potential one. Bro. The person, Iongoma in is from Moroto. He's one yes. of our good guys. He's yes. our brother, Neto Yes. Well, Katuma, it's up to him. Yes. Do you know when MC Gray was coming for Togonglore? Yes. The person who paid for his transport yes. was John Munez Kiyoma. The person who gave him money to eat yes. was John Munez Kiyoma. Yes. He slept. In a hotel owned by John Munez Kiyoma. Yes. Came for the Yes. None of you, including all these aspirants on a Pigandur, yes. this is now me, my opinion, my personal you opinion. Will allow me to answer that. Yes. None of you yes. see the potential in Tukana music, yes. Tukana creative economy, yes. by putting it as number one agenda. Yes. But where we go, Losura tapata job. Yes. You were leading to Kusa. He was leading to Kusa. Yes. Sixty percent of the people you were leading, ni a musician and a dancer. Sixty percent. Yes. All these people look at your leadership, look at our leadership. Yes. The problem with creative economy in Trukana, they are seeing music. Yes. They are seeing um, modeling as just. A stupid career. Mark you. Ajumana Sinyana. From Trukana. Super model. Yes. World recognition. Yes. The last time we hear a hero in the creative economy, Hakuna, Akida Ndoya Nalala Soweto, Ibra Nalala So, Nalala California, Eiton Ndoya Nangaika Town, Ekuyen, the father, the godfather of Tukana music, don't even have a house. Edwin used to praise Jaffa the Kino, the late. Yes, sir. Used to talk about John Munyeski. 
epe furo uh, and it was juicy we were fighting about a space either that is the good nobody if you want, not remember you say i'm not a politician i don't know politics yes bro i'll give you your time bro in 1980 there was a war between two factions in jamaica and the person who made jamaica to become peaceful up today is robert nesta mali they had to use a musician do you know before who let them you are candidate for podium you need musicians to praise him before you want story and you know, all these agendas the blue economy uh, and losura uh, these people do you want mamboen we push you will need artists to come and write songs to praise do you know dp when they are support made an artist from the north rift became a multi millionaire do you know the dp who came here in 2019 gave a tukana artist 1 million do you know the same same dp took the same same artist to the evolution conference honorable cs right honorable that we believe he might come and take over this has never even employed himself and say amen for that i am saying that yeah amen has never employed himself and say man i need to support creative economy we are church are talking about honorable munyes honorable odebe we are reaching out 3000 4000 reach 5000 reach none of them is saying this as bail it's time that that is my own opinion thank you yeah. thank you dai now uh, you didn't allow me to finish the reason as to why unatweka mwisho supporting munyes unatweka mwisho no no no, no. <laughs> it's not in any rank yes. whatsoever uh -huh. but how i wish you could have allowed me to finish uh -huh. i could have told you my role in that committee but because the hell you say that much you know uh, there is this uh, i come from a very beautiful village called natirwan yes and uh, at times i do reminisce the night i get myself moving enjoying the breeze of the village and at one time yes i met our our, our village wizard yes I a village met, wizard. I met our village wizard. Yeah, who is that? Imuto. No. Yeah. A wizard. Uh, Imuto. Imuto is also a wizard. Not a wizard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I met our village wizard. Yeah. He's a very wise man. Yes. And he told me, "Kiona, you know what? Yeah. Hey, when an ayena yeah. wants to feed or its children, yes. It accuses them of smelling like goat." <laughs> Are you getting my point? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Uh, don't crucify us. Yes. The reason as to why mm. I am sitting in that committee as a young man. Yes. It's because of the diversity uh -huh. that we want to introduce in the next government. Yes. Currently, young people are playing a very critical role in 2022 politics. I love that. They are the determinant. True. And it is the reason as to why my boss has brought me close yes so that i sit i not only converse with him uh -huh. but i sit in the secretariat uh -huh. where agendas are being made yes where plans are being executed yes so that i can be in a position to say no i stand here for young people yes if we want a creative economy yes if we want an industry yes this is what we need to do yes this is where we want to this is the person we need to bring in yes that is the very reason yes i am in that team and today the hill yes i want to tell you one thing about john munyes that people don't know uh -huh. munyes is one person who believes in building capacities of people wow based on what they are capable to do based on what can help them if you if business can help you it can help you to do that business
Unaj- if music can help you, uh-huh. he is going to give you an enabling environment. If getting employed is going to help you, he is going to employ you. And I want to give a disclaimer. Uh-huh. We are not employing, we are not using uh-huh. any musician, uh-huh. be it from Kenya or Uganda, uh-huh. to sing for Mujes. Uh-huh. We have young people, uh-huh. our artists, uh-huh. who have felt not to be left in the process. Yes. They are the ones who have been singing, uh-huh. who have been doing what they are best at. Yes. And I'm surprised, not only perturbed and uh-huh. perplexed, uh-huh. That you're telling me uh-huh. the songs we were playing yes. were done by a Uganda There is a song done by Uganda. Unless you want to tell I have me. Proof for Wait, that. unless you want to tell me. Yes. Because I know the song we were playing during the Super Sato. Gani. Gani. The song was sung by one Dano, uh-huh. Naukeri, uh-huh. uh, Ali Boy. Uh-huh. They are artists from Kakuma. Uh-huh. Unless you want to convince me beyond reasons yes. that these guys are from Uganda. No, no. But I grew up with them. Which one? In the street Ga- of Ga- 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 It was that song. The no, one no, I'm no, telling no, no, you. No, no. The second song uh-huh. was done uh-huh. by a young man from Trukana North. Yes. Called Conspira. Yes. Apalo <laughs> Bok He sings. Uh-huh. Uh, in a Karamoja test. Yes. But he's a young man you know him very well. Conspira uh-huh. music from Trukana North. You know him, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. He's the man behind the song. Uh-huh. There is a song yes. also done yes. by MC Gray from Uganda. Yes. We've not played that song because, you know, you play a song that is speaking to people. Yes. MC Gray did his song uh-huh. out of the love he has for Mnyes. I know, out of the love. No, it's, it's good. It's good. I want to bring him on board. Eh? Out of the Attica love, I want to bring him. He did him. a song uh-huh. for the person he believes he stands for peace. Everyone knows Munya stands for peace. And it's okay. It is the reason as to why MC Gray from Uganda. All the I want to bring him on board. Eh? Landed friend. Bona, I'm, I'm bona sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he's a, he's we, a we've kept you in the dark, you know, sorry. Yes. Uh, before you come on board, eh? yes. somebody of a no reason uh, is a guy here has asked me. Apart from creative entertainment industry, Kiongozi Kiyoma has not also mentioned sports in his candidate manifesto plans. Uh, you will talk later about that. Yes, I will. Uh, we are going online, Kiasia. Mimi uh, Chichena I'm becoming. Talking too much. Yes. Mina Peta Pongea. And then you have. Uh, we have people. Mutu Alesama. Come on, Ian and Kotel. And some of the youth will play a critical role in August 2022 election. We have millennials who will be voting for the first time. And they are techno savvy group. Ukijibwe about the creative economy. And you also, and your people are not talking about creative economy. Yes. This 2022. I am seeing new voting, new voters. We are not capturing these people. Yes. Nobody is talking about the new voters who are coming. Mm-hmm. Remember also, the dynamics of politics to Kana Sai is changing. Mm-hmm. Do you think yes. the UDA candidate, Atawezana, the dynamics of politics here, the whole Kukana? What, what 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 will you tell us? Okay. Babu, I know I know you won't talk about the youth. I think because you say uh, where we have a candidate at the moment. Correct. But look at this scenario whereby new voters are coming. Yes. The dynamics and politics of Turkana is changing. Yes. And we are still stuck. Hatuna mweleke, hatuna mbele wana nyuma. Yes. Then ujibu wimuto mamba ya creative economy. Yes. Um, on, on, on creative economy, yes. uh, Dahil, I think my candidate who was uh, the right honorable Erastus yes. was very keen yes. on the creative economy. Uh-huh. And I remember at some point yes. he invited you and my team and your team yes. so that you would work on something. Yes. 
Um, this is one area that uh, so many politicians yes. or our politicians yes. have not given the energy it deserves. True. And that is why you will see very talented young people like Akida, yes. talented young people like Bansen, yes. as, uh, that, uh, that, that uh, I'm looking for a better word to bring it out. They are not realizing they are full potential True. because they are not being supported or they are not being empowered by the leadership of the day. True. So um, Erasto, Erasto was very, very, very keen on that. And uh, that is why he met you and others, so that we will come up with a way of ensuring that the creative economy is empowered in a, in a way that it deserves. Mm -hmm. uh, res responding to, to Kiyoma. Yes. Uh, I've heard what he said. Mm -hmm. He has uh, some, I agree with some ideas he's just talked about. Yes. But uh, I have never seen his candidate, who is the CS, talk about them in public. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he talks them about. <laughs> <laughs> I have never. Yes. Show me anywhere the CS has said that I, am, I stand for this. The things he has told us. What I think is, mm. those are things Kiyoma wants to exercise when he is elected, but not the CS. Because I've never heard the CS talk about them. I love that. Yes. I love that. I have never heard. I love that. Or, or if there is anybody who has... Any and it will be a manifesto at 2027. Any manifesto, okay, and you know, of yes. course, I, <laughs> I, I have already given him a position in yes. case that it, when I'm running for governor as my deputy, for him to exercise what he's doing. <laughs> and, and in the event that... Yes, and in the event I love that. that. I really love that. In the that. event that he does not take that, yeah. what I've offered him... Mm. Then I'll have to drop him like a bad habit. <laughs> so that is, that is not in any way associated with the CS. It is him. It is him. That is what Kiyoma wants to do for the people of Turkana. And when I'll be governor, him in his position as my deputy governor. Uh, Daniel, yes. Does Dan tells us that whatever he's telling us about is former and uh, candidate to be. Yes. Whatever he's telling us about him. Is the plans he has for 2030? <laughs> <laughs> is, is he saying so? Does he mean that? Because don't undermine the position yes. I hold in the True. secretariat of John Munyeskiyong. It is Munez one Kiyong. thing that I, I, I agree. As yes. young people, yes, we should be proud that at least I, I agree. We are in the decision making. making maybe one thing. One thing. Yes, I will shake hands with my guy. My my, my pro Kiyonga is yes. Kiyonga is in the secretariat as they say, mm -hmm. representing youth. Correct. So I, was, this, I, I yes. was also in a similar secretariat. You are? I was in a similar secretariat. But now you're not talking about it. Of course now I'm not anywhere because my guy till <laughs> 2032. <laughs> so it's good, it's good. And I'm bringing him in to the secretariat. I'm telling you that today. Eh. He's a very smart brain. He's not someone to leave. Where am I interviewing you to here? That's a where am I interviewing you to here? I think in this case, you are here. You are interviewing us based on previous experience. <laughs> so, Daniel, <laughs> so, here is. Rajo, my, my, I was telling that because I'm so passionate about creative economy. Yes. It is pain. Yeah. And uh, if we tapped it well, yeah. I hope you. And any other person, any aspiring person when you ask here, put us become a part of your team. I want personally, I want to tell you this. Yes. In my secretariat, mm. I'm going to bring you in. I mean, me, for now, you for now, speak for the art. You know art for better, now, better than me. For now, for now, bro. I am there to coordinate, to have people like you in, to have people who speak for sports. Sawa. Exactly. So anyway, let me attack a. Because cause of time, eh? Yes. Uh, there's some people here, when you want to say, as you do, moderator, moderator, come on. We are having a story yeah, here. Yeah, it's a story. Now, every opinion we've said here matters. Matters and belongs to us. Yeah. Yes. Remember, Church Amtani, every Sunday, we have a YouTube account in it. This is Turkana. We are live on YouTube account. You can go also subscribe to that YouTube account. Everything we're doing here, 
kama uko na smart tv kwa nyumba watch two i am taking this to appreciate one and only abu abu is the man who has given us this penny yeah. cheers na anajua we are talking politics so let's not crucify him why are we using this yeah. yeye anatupatia free internet kwa sababu for us to broadcast we need up to 10 gb yeah. so you can imagine he's giving us water he's giving us lunch wow. courtesy of marble events uh, i want to take this opportunity also kushukuru both of you for coming through okay. as here it was all about talking issues that most people don't want to talk about yes. trying to tell people about our politics and our own opinions so i'm giving you like a minute tell us where is tukana stack and where are we heading and then bwana secretary to azimio atuambie where are we heading kwa sababu we are also stuck on you tunaona bado mko na rango zenu how are we going and where are we heading this is chocha mtaani you can watch us through this is Tukana YouTube channel. Facebook page is Chocha Mtani Show. You can follow Kionga on his handle, Spear. Thomas Kionga on Facebook. Twitter, Rosuru Daniel on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram. And Marble Club and Marble Events. Trader Baba. Um, uh, Dail. Yes. There is uh, a lot of confusion uh -huh. and a lot of quagmire yes. going on currently in the political arena, yes. both in Azimio yes. and uh, UDA. Yes. And uh, one day in politics is like 100 years, as I've always said. True. And uh, for me, yes. I am giving it the next two weeks uh -huh. for things to align very well. Okay. For us to understand who is where. Yes. And in which party. Uh -huh. After then. Yes. That is when I will come and I will do it publicly. Yes. That, that is when I will announce. Yes. Who I will be supporting for the position of governor. Sante Sana. Are, we, are you getting that? I'm getting that. For now. Uh -huh. I am not supporting anybody for uh -huh. the position of governor. And I have mentioned my reasons here. Yes. So for those who want to know the reason, after this live broadcast, today's end of Numa, uh, you can download the video of Angali Angali. Bwana Kionga. Number two. Uh, oh, I, I, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh -huh. Secondly, yes. uh, I want to tell the young people uh -huh. who are interested in politics yes. that this time it's our time to sit on the table. Yes. Because if we continue being in the menu, yes. we are the ones who are going to be eaten. Yes. Let us not be a cynic or a skeptic. Yes. Let us not sit on the sidelines when other people are making Kenya and Turkana what it should be. Yes. Let us roll up our sleeves yes. and participate in the politics of the day. Thirdly, I want to tell my friend Kiyonga. Yes. Because uh, he's a young man whom I like. Yes. And I like the energy in him. You can Very see true. how he's supporting the... The, the, the Honorable Munez, yes. the same way I supported the right Honorable with Speaker. a lot of energy, a True. lot of compassion, True. Yeah, and a lot of enthusiasm. Yes. Uh, let me say this, uh, Kiyoma. Yes. It does not matter how long we will take as a county for us to be where we should be as a county. It, I, it, does, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Uh -huh. Whether it takes five years, uh -huh. whether it takes ten years, a uh -huh. hundred years, uh -huh. it doesn't matter how long. But I am squarely against the idea of recycling leadership. Uh -huh. And my brother is a serious conduit of recycling leadership. Wow. He's a serious conduit. Uh -huh. And that is why some people like us, yes. or some people like me, yes. that is why I decided to support right on the right on the boy Rastas. Okay. Because he was coming out with a different energy. Uh -huh. He has the clarity of mind, yes. has the technical know-how. That is why some of us supported him. Mm -hmm. Because some of these leaders have been in different capacities for the last five years, for the last 10 years, for the last 20, 30 years. But there is little they have done. When will Kiyoma and I and other people yes. get a chance yes. to exercise leadership yes. if we become conduits? Yes of recycling leadership. Mm. 
You get? Uh -huh. So today, the Honorable Muniz becomes governor, for example. Yes. Or the Honorable Odepe becomes governor, for example. Yes. They will want to lead for another 10 years. That, that will be already 20, 30. True. Then again, uh, Lomenen, let's say, for example, that generation of leadership, Lomenen, Napotica. The 2013. Uh, the 2013 group. Yes. Will again come and tell us, you know, you're still young. Uh -huh. We, we didn't get our time yes. to lead. Yes. They will again want to lead for another 10 years. Yes. That is 2042. When will me, you, and the other people get time to exercise the brilliant ideas we have, the transformative agendas we have for our people? Wow. That is a challenge to every young man who is listening to me today. As a, thank you. So, Kiyong, you have listened to what... Uh, our brother, you have said. Maybe you respond, Kidogo, because of my directors are saying, because of your time. Thank you. What are the time, Kidogo, to extend? Good. To the level, uh, Daniel, I want to tell you something. Yes. There is this fallacy that has clouded the brains of young people and very smart people. Yes. Like Losoro today. Yes. I want you to look at the cameras. There are two cameras here. But, so that people listen to and watch to you. No, I'm talking. still answering that. Uh -huh. But, yes. Leadership. Yes. Is about age. It is not. But leadership is about time of service. My principle of leadership is totally different from that. Mm -hmm. I view leadership at a very different angle. Yes. You don't. You doesn't have to be young for you to serve us. You don't have to be old. In other words, age ain't nothing. For you to effect change in this country. You don't have to be young, you don't True. have to be old. True. Many young people, yes. and today I speak this with courage, many young people yes. have been tested in very serious positions Correct. before in this county government of Trukar. True. And they have failed us. I agree. They have failed us. A very sensitive position like a governor. Yes. Is not a game of trial and errors. Yes. You cannot come and exercise a control experiment. Yes. In this. You cannot do that. Not today. Not tomorrow. Some of us we will stand on our feet to defend what is right for this community. If Munez has what it takes to lead this county, we are rooting for him. Yes. We are going to support him. Sure. Look here. Look at the characters of people who are in the 2022 race. My brother and friend Dan can agree with me. There are some characters, distinct characters, that you may not want to associate with the leadership of this county. True. I don't want to mention anyone. But I want to speak in a perspective of a young leader. Someone who has dreams and ambition True. for this Turkana. It must not be me to change this Turkana. If Munez is in a position to change it, let him change. Hatuta maliza kila kitu hii turukana. True. Munye satafanya yake leo asonge. Kesho wewe uige ufanye. Kesho, you know, there is this fear kwamba ati sisi tutaigia wakati gani. That is a fear. That is a fear. When you feel you are ready, get that. yourself into the race. True. When you feel you are ready. Ata kii 2022, if you feel True. you are ready, True. you get yourself into the race. True. We don't have to cling into the ideologies. Ya kusema nani is all Nani has been here for this. True. If he has been here and he has been doing us good, he has been serving us. He is giving us a fatherly figure. Which, he is doing what we expect him. Which is Why not look for him? Which is not the case as per moment. That is you. That is your reservation. Yes. But for us, according to the principles of politics that we subscribe to, he is meeting what is meeting our expectations as residents of this county. You understand him? Mm -hmm. And uh, to my young people. Yes. Who are watching us today? So, the reason as to why perhaps we are complaining that we are not getting enough attention from the government of Kenya. Yes. The reason as to why we are not getting space to serve Kenyans. Yes. The reason as to why we are given a position of a CS, a courtesy, and a courtesy or kind of a mercy thing. So, it's because we've always sided and dined with the opposition. We've mastered the act. Of dining in the opposition table. We've mastered the art. Even when the silver linings of the cloud are clear, yes. we are clinging on the lane of opposition. Preach. 2022 is the right time for us, as Trukana County, 
to be the government. The man, the man we fought for, for many years, has an opportunity to be the next president of this republic. Wow. And if we are going to cling on the land that we followed for years, yes. we are going to miss it out again. Yes. I think God has just said, it's time for Trukanas to be in serious positions in the government, not just as CS, yes. not just as peers, not just an ambassador, not just a... You understand? Yes. It is time for us to be in the government authoritatively, not begging, not taking delegations to the next government, but given what we deserve. And even to the Azimio principles, I want to speak to them today. That as Turkana County, yes. let us not perceive that Turkana County is an Odian zone. I totally disagree with you. Turkana County is not a UDA zone. Turkana County is a very unique county that casts its aspirations on individuals. I love that. We should elect individuals, not the party. We cast our aspirations you. on individuals. Lovely. And today, it is an opportunity for us as young people yes. to give Muniz yes. an opportunity to have us on the table, to have us seated on the table, to have us make policies. It is possible. And as, as, as Azimio says, in our can. I love that. Thank as my you so party much. Shot, yes. The hill. Yes. As my parting shot. Yes. Uh, for a nut to be a coconut oil, mm -hmm. it must go through a, a very serious, process. serious, serious process of boiling. Yes. And that, that is where we are in. So our young people, let us embrace peace. You see what I have here? This is for African Union. Yes. It's not a coincidence to have this. It is a responsibility to make sure that we have a peaceful, prosperous yes. county. True. It is your role DJ. and it's my role. True. When Losuru was in, was in the other camp, we were very good friends. True. And even today we are friends. True. Politics never came in between. True. We used to meet half meal together, yes. discuss yes. what we are going through, yes. how we can maneuver ourselves to get into the table. True. And I'm very happy. He got, on, he got on the table, on the other side. So I was pretty sure that wherever Losuru is, is advocating for young people. True. And he was sure that wherever I was, true. I am advocating for young people. Very true. And that is what I'm advocating today. To you young people who are in various camps, claim our position. Whatever the government is coming in, we must be part and parcel of the next government. Thank you. Sir. Asante sana kwa has been kwa very good debate tumepiga piga story hapa nina nini asante sana thank you so much until next sunday please share this video let the conversation keep on going and to comment comment hapo tujue nini naenda we have been hosting Thomas Kiyonga our future leader at the same time hosting wakili wakili Yosuru our future leader eh yeah. Now, when I say 2032, you need to watch them. This is Chocha Mtani coming to you live from Marble Extreme Club. You can go to our YouTube channel. This is Turkana for you to watch it on YouTube. Asante Sana. God bless you. God bless Turkana. One and only DJ Pubs taking over. Asante Sana. But kuna wale watu wenye wame kwa online. Kuna watu wako online kama kina Augustine Lochuch. Asante Sana. Esmi Lokoel. Asante Sana. One and only Brenda Angelay, Asante Sana, we are seeing your comments is in a flocky bow. To each and every person when you hapa, the likes of the Dairy Fit King and Asema Asante ni Sana. To each and every person when you hapa, the Tukusa Fraternity, the Wasanis when you are hapa, we wish you love, God bless you. When I'm a man boy to die. <laughs> but until next Sunday, we are to go to another show, a good one. We hope to see you. Here again. Unaweza kuja marble uji enjoy as you watch football, you watch Chocha Mtaani, one and only DJ Pubs. Karibu.